Pepe is Studios. So yeah, this is the developer intro segment. Caution, loud noises, flashing lights, and jump scares. So if any of y'all are proud of that stuff, then be warned. And here we have the main menu for the Deep Downs, a WAF revival. How's it going, everyone? And welcome to another FNAF fan game called the Deep Downs, a WAF revival. Revival. Now, I had played through the night one demo for this game, and I was going to plan on making that for its own separate episode. However, due to it being a very short demo and uh, that only going on for one main night, I uh, did pretty much end off things, and so I just decided to shelve uh, that whole video off to the side, and so I moved on to some other stuff. And so recently, the full game of the Deep Downs had came out, and so this is uh, what's right in front of me right at this very second and so yeah i'm not gonna go into any of what's gonna go down for night one since yeah that's obviously landing in spoiler territory it is uh you know sort of alluding to this green rabbit goober in a way but yeah that's all that i'm gonna freaking say on the matter and i did see all the actual map itself and i gotta say the whole location looks very freaking yeah spiffy in a way i mean there only needs to be a uh, janitor to be hired up at this location to pretty much clean up more of the place with how uh you know messy some parts of the yeah location are but that's besides the point i just want to freaking get myself another sweet paycheck and then get out of here with my freaking very life go on over to another haunted animatronic location yep the endless cycle of my own freaking life huh so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get started with this game then shall we created by felipe studios.com 9 inspired by sc game so yeah i can see uh these animatronics are not even well furnished at all so is this place also gonna freaking open up or are they gonna be bothered to well repair any of their freaking animatronics like look at this guy all the way back here pretty much all of this endoskeleton is showing and and yeah these other two goobers also uh need some fixing up but yeah we could just worry about that later i'm gonna go ahead and just uh get on with my whole night shift week at this place so yeah i really do like how um stylistic that this menu is partially kind of reminds me of slender in a way where that menu also uh, utilized some scribbles to yeah form the actual main menu itself here so yeah let's get started with the new game closed wtf and friends closed for the disappearance of three children okay i got freaking jump scared by a newspaper there and their manager the police are investigating the place at the moment help is at the moment help is sought for night guard contact and then there is a phone number right there that we can actually call up and I'm guessing that is what we did and landed a job right at this uh, very obscure looking location here. So we can press X to hold our breath. Oh man, yep, it has been a bit since I actually did see this office. So yeah, there goes a mug of good old fashioned coffee. So yeah, if I'm feeling a little bit drowsy, might as well uh, take a couple of sips out of that freaking mug over there. And there's a, uh, yeah, old school pc system over there along with a mannequin so yeah uh there is a couple of more of these mannequins that are in the location here and so yeah we can press that button to turn off the lights in this office or the only one light that i have in my main office here so yeah uh philip systems oh yeah i'm guessing that maybe this is freaking still a work in progress i honestly have no idea so yeah here we have the main show stage phil system Com, uh, nine. All right. Let me just take a look at the rest of this place here. So there we have a main dining area. Yet another main dining area there. And so a couple of more dining areas. I kind of like how funky that this floor is. Yeah, the first time that I saw this place, I was like, yeah, uh, I kind of want to freaking go in there and then just chill out with, yeah, this whole funky floor that I'm looking at right here. And... Oh, there's an alarm system that's freaking implemented into this room? Okay. Not bad at all. And so there's a ventilation system. Yeah, see, there's more than one of those, uh, yeah, dirty mannequins that are all over the place. And a couple of more of these uh, cardboard cutouts that are just littering the freaking hallway there. All right. And then one of them has been cleanly slashed through. So, yeah, there's uh, other people that are working at this place that also have a disdain against uh, cardboard cutouts, which is a good sign, after all. All right. And, wait, what? Uh, where did that other goober go? 
Uh, yep, yeah, there goes the green rabbit. How you doing over there, by the way? Uh, where? So wait, if they also come into this room, do I have to like press the alarm and then they go back to the main show stage? If that is the case, then yeah, I should be good to go from there. Uh, okay, I don't know where that puppet Goober went off to. Okay, I am kind of on edge here since I honestly... What? Where? Uh, and so yeah, I can press X to pretty much hold my breath right there, and that's what happens whenever you do so. Okay, so I'm already halfway done. So this is going to be another one of those types of weeks where it just goes by super fast. It, it's already 4 a.m. That really? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, how you doing over there? You look a little bit sad. Uh, well, guess what? No one's in the main office, and I think... Uh, you should be happy with going back to the stage where your other friends are currently at. Totally, by the way. Uh, if you don't hear anyone currently speaking real loudly in this uh, security office, I mean, that's like right in front of my said security office. Just don't go... Oh, shoot. I don't know. Where do you think you're going, huh? Yeah, that's right in front of my door. Okay. So I'm just going to sit right here and then wait... Okay, for the puppet goober to maybe crack open that door and look in. Yep, there goes Green Rabbit Goober. How many times have I said goober in this? Oh, no. Get out of here. I need you to get out of here. Okay, so that's how you probably deal with that guy. Are they all the way off in some other location? I hope so. I hope that they're not, like, chilling right outside of the door just to hear me audibly breathing in my office. I mean, you could have just... Wow. I can't believe it. Uh, clearly see me right over here. And I'm guessing if I just stood still like a complete statue, then... Yeah, they just saw me as another lifeless suit, and they just went out of that set office just like that. So, yeah! yeah! Night one is all finished up just like that. Hey, look at that funky 6 a.m. go on. Let's go. And here we are moving on with night two on a Tuesday. See, so yeah, this whole week is going to go by fast, I can tell. All right. So is anyone else going to be active? That will be kind of creepy if any of these mannequins started to move around. If this mannequin somehow is, like, right in front of my face and then I had to, like, flip up my camera and just deal with them like Golden Freddy, that, that could be a mean Easter egg there. <laughs> All right, so... Let me just look all over the place. And I'm guessing that this is the most important camera out of every other camera there is in this whole building. Since, yeah, if I just go all over the other cameras here, then I just don't see any other prompts that pop up. So, yeah, uh, I'm guessing that this third goober over here is tied in with the alarm system. Okay. I'm just not gonna stay on that camera, whatever that freaking alarm does go off. Uh, wait. Oh, and it actually does regen after that one usage. So, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll just wait here for anyone else to pull up to the main office. Okay. Uh, I'm still staring directly at all three of y'all. So, yeah, can two of you just make a move at the same exact time? Okay. Well, that's really great. Both of them disappeared at the same exact time whenever I did say that, so I'm guessing that you're still plotting on the main stage as to how you're actually going to be moving around the place. So yeah, how are y'all both doing? That's uh, morbidly wholesome in a way, just to see both of those creepy faces staring directly at me through the camera. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get myself any more proper sleep than I already freaking need in my entire life. Since, yeah, I saw uh, so many freaking creepy animatronics in my lifetime that I barely get any freaking sleep whatsoever. And, uh, yeah, just hearing all those voices just chattering away in my ears, yeah. Uh, I think I might be, uh, haunted for life by a whole bunch of demonic and other evil entities. Uh, but that's just a little side tangent. Let me just, uh, get right through the freaking week here. See, so, yeah, I'm almost done with night two. What the heck? So it's already 3 a.m.? I'm about to move on over to night three hopefully move on over to night three okay see that puppet guy is not in that vent system 
Okay, you're moving a little bit closer to my office. So let me just... Oh! Yep, that's the puppet. Uh, or maybe you. Or maybe both of y'all are moving at the same exact time, just making so many loud footstep sounds. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> believe! Yeah, I'll uh, believe myself whenever I, uh, you know, try and freaking live here. Alright. Yeah, this isn't too bad at all. Okay. Yep, there goes the puppet. Just chilling out in the vent system there. Okay. Yeah, that's not that bad at all. You can come into my office. The green rabbit hasn't attacked yet. Kind of feel sad for him in a way. Uh. Oh, no. Yep. You're right there beside the wet floor sign. That would be so funny. If you just, like, crawled a little bit faster and then just slipped on your head and just freaking face plane on the ground? Hi there. Uh, no you don't. You can screw off for me. Okay. So far, uh, so very good in a way. Maybe I can use that mannequin and then bar off that freaking door and hopefully no one comes in here? Oh no. Where did you go? Uh. Where did you go? I think you're, like, right there, aren't you? Okay. So yeah, I know uh, what to do for the green rabbit goober. Okay, or uh, maybe you could just go on over to 6 a.m. and save my life there. Yeah! yeah, let's go. Another night wrapped up just like that. And yet another 6 a.m. that is just going into a full-on rave mode there, just like last time. So yeah, third night on a Wednesday. So does that third mascot going to be moving around the place? I hope so, since I kind of feel bad uh, <laughs> for this silly evil mascot in a way. Okay, I don't know what else to say. I'm just uh, making so much good progress in this entire week so far. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm not gonna freaking jinx myself by saying, oh yeah, I haven't died just yet, which is technically true, but yeah, uh, none of y'all freaking heard that all over at the show stage, okay? I'm just gonna, you know, recount what I just said there a couple of seconds ago, and then just keep on going with this entire week. But yeah, so far this is not a bad FNAF game at all. Yeah, it's very easy so far. Okay. Just gonna be looking around on the show stage. Th wow. I'll just be sitting right here in my office just looking at how much of a great setup that it looks here. Really like that off-putting clock. All of those dots are not even uniformed. <laughs> well, whatever clock that this is, yeah, you need to freaking throw it out in the dumpster that's in the back of the joint and then get yourself like a brand new one since this one is clearly unreadable there. Also, there's a couple of pieces of fan art I can tell, that green rabbit. And, uh, yeah, I, I like the floor, uh, aside from the black mold that's collected all the way down there. That's disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, I need to give this green rabbit some legs just so that he doesn't stare at that uh, black moldy floor 24-7 as he's crawling around the joint. Yep, that third mascot's gone. Uh, where did you move off to this time? Okay. Where did you go on to this time, huh? So yeah, whenever I do see that third fella in this room that I gotta make sure to turn on the alarm just like that, and that's how you properly deal with them. Right on time, whenever I was just discussing what their main mechanic is. And, uh, yeah, it is tied in with the freaking alarm system. Alright, and you're already moving? Th really? Okay, you are a fast one, aren't you? Okay, I'm just trying to keep track of where this other mascot is going. Hey, how you doing over there? I can see you just right there in front of those balloons. I'm trying to clean up after a lot of the patrons that have been here recently. I mean, everything looks spotless. All the party hats are all set up and all the dishes look real clean. See, I'm guessing that you're the janitor of this entire place. If so, then yeah, you deserve uh, some bonus overtime pay. I'm just sitting here in this chair for six hours a night just trying to freaking stare at a yeah, camera panel here. 
looking at all these guys move around. Alright. So it's already 4 a.m. Only two hours left. And, yeah, within the next uh, two hours, I'm uh, going to be moving on over to night four, hopefully. Uh, there you go. Since, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to live or not. So, yeah, let me just keep my mouth shut and then just deal with everyone else properly here. See, so yeah, it's already 5 a.m. Uh, yeah, you're still right up there on the stage. I swear. Yeah, but you're gone. Wait, what? Oh, hi! So yeah, for you, I gotta just turn off the light, and then hopefully you can go away just like that. So that's how you properly deal with the green rabbit and uh, pretty much everyone else in the entire game. So yeah, uh, I'm guessing that there's only three threats, but I do know of a secret threat that does show up over time, and that is involved with the light system here. So yeah, if I do... Well, never mind. I, I guess I'll just show that off later. <laughs> hey, there we go. Night three is all done. And, yeah, come on. Yeah, I got another excited-looking 6 a.m. Just jumping for joy as soon as I, uh, yeah, finished another night. And so, yeah, here we have night four on a Thursday. So, yeah, uh, let me just get back into the office here. I'm just going to shut the door right behind me. Hopefully I can get, like, a convenient chair and then wedge it right there in the freaking doorknob. So, yeah, uh... Let me just go and select that alarm camera. So if I just turn off this light here for a prolonged amount of time, then something might happen. Okay. Well, I guess not. Since, yeah, normally in the Night 1 demo, this phantom version of the green rabbit does slowly manifest in front of your face the more that you have the lights just shut off so uh that's really concerning that they're not attacking at all but at the same time uh that's real great since i don't have another threat to pretty much micromanage as of now anyways so yeah let me just sit here in the office and uh Hopefully I can get myself a footstool and then just sit here and just sleep right up until that I hear some more footsteps or, well, this other fella just shows up on that one designated camera that I need to scare them off with the alarm. Alright, I'll just sit here and then wait until all three of them are gone. <laughs> well, ain't that poorly timed. I mean, that's not that bad. I could just deal with all three of them real promptly here. So yeah, there's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry about at all. This is totally fine. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, you're right there. Okay. I did not expect for you to just enter the office that fast. Are you serious? So yeah, these guys are getting a tad bit faster here. Oh, no you don't. You can get on out of here. Can I just get like a loud boot box and then just leave it on the show stage and then he can just be cowering in the corner and just not even bother me for the time being i think that could be a cool idea or maybe uh not since i don't want to get like a full-on lawsuit written by one of these uh animatronics if that's even possible and then i had to like pay a whole large sum of money for yeah traumatic damages so yeah my bad for coming up with that idea but you're trying to kill me so it's for your own good so yeah get out of here all right yeah i see you're right there it's all right bruh it's already 3 a.m how you doing over there? Uh, I'm t uh, okay, still teleporting all over the place. Okay, I'm just gonna be keeping my eyes closely on this camera here. No, you don't. If that green rabbit opens up the door, really? Yeah, you need to get out of here. Go away. I told you to freaking scram already. Not camp right in front of the door and just not leave for like the next two hours okay are you gonna be showing up there where you at oh there you are right there in that one room i was switching up through all the cameras and then you're trying to sneak your way into that one room without me looking but yep got that alarm all nicely played there okay Just gonna keep my eyes glued onto this one camera here. Uh, yep, 
second. There goes the green rabbit. <laughs> Just moving all over the place. All right, only got one more hour left. Yeah, I think that's the puppet moving around. What? Yep, I knew it. How you doing, by the way? I heard your heavy footsteps on the outside of the door. See, you're not even that sneaky at all. Yeah, I really like how eerie that these fellas are. I think the most creepy one out of all of them has to be that puppet. Yep, there you go. Yeah, freaking get on out of here. Okay. Yep, that rabbit's moving a little bit more. Okay. And there we go. Night four is done. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, come on. 6 a.m. I want to freaking see you pop up again here. Hey. Yeah, there you go. I still love that goofy looking drawing of the green rabbit fella. So I'm back after taking a bit of a quick break. And so this time we're on night five. Friday. So, uh, yeah, just the same business as usual. Just gotta switch to that camera and uh, get on with yet another short and easy night right here. So, yeah, uh, who's gonna be moving around first? Uh, I guess all three of y'all at the same exact time, just like before in the previous night. So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just see that happen again. Uh, anytime now. Uh, I'm just gonna sit here and watch the chaos unfold immediately after 1 a.m. chimes. Since, yeah, that is insane how everyone just, like, moves at the same exact time. Just, come on. All right, if I just go back to that one camera, and then y'all are just still sat there. Okay. I'm guessing that all of y'all's programming is still booting up, and now the puppet, and, ah, oh, great. This other freak moved off the stage. Well, where did you move on to this time, huh? Oh, yeah, I can actually see the puppet in this other camera here. All right. Let me just go back to this alarm camera and then get this alarm all primed up and ready whenever I do see a particular miscreant just being a little bit sneaky. I can just kick them out with a freaking alarm blast. So, yeah, uh, who's going to be coming into this room? Oh, no. Yep, I can hear your footsteps, you green rabbit frick. Oh my! D really? Immediately? Okay. Can you go away? Since I have no idea if this other goober is just camping out in the alarm room. Ah. Uh... Yep, there you are. I was waiting for you to appear just like that. See, how far do you actually get sent on back since... Wait, what? Oh. Wait, what the heck? Wait, what's going... What? Okay, I saw the green rabbit just, like, pop up on two freaking cameras simultaneously, so maybe I caught him in mid-movement, so that's, uh, really neat to see in a way. Oh, yep, there he goes. Right into that freaking wet floor sign. Yep, there you are. Gonna kick you out of that room just like so. All right. So whenever I do hear the door just begin to shift a little bit then if yep, someone's trying to intrude into my security office which I always don't appreciate whenever animatronics try to freaking get into here so no you don't get out of here just gotta hold every ounce of oxygen or in this case carbon dioxide in my lungs and uh, hopefully that puppet just doesn't get a whiff of any sort of human breathing and sure enough yeah you're backed out of there just like so so yeah, that is kind of funny how I just simply hold my breath, but I can just still shake my head real violently since I'm uh, still letting the puppet know that I'm here. But uh, I'm guessing that breathing isn't allowed in this place, so yeah, that's really good to know. See, so yeah, I backed off you again. Yep, only two more hours left and yet another night just like that. Oh, yep, there you are. I saw you pop up right at that show stage. For a split second there. See, so yeah, the most aggressive one out of everyone here is the alarm goober. Since I had to, like, pretty much deal with them a few times single-handedly with that alarm system, and pretty much the puppet and green rabbit, they take all their sweet time with coming over to the main office. Alright. I'll just sit here and then wait for this camera to have a peculiar face showing up any second now 
Alright, come on. I know that you want to. I hear some freaking footsteps coming up from somewhere else. Ah, well, not anymore. 6 a.m. has finally arrived just like that. Yep, yet another night has finally been put behind me. Yay, let's go. So what's going to happen this time since that was... Oh, the fifth night? Okay, so now it's the final night, and it's on a Sunday. So what happened during the previous night? Oh, my. Uh, why is my office shifted all of a sudden? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, what's going on, man? Okay, well, thanks for the heated warnings there, whoever that mysterious phone guy is. So yeah, that mannequin head is freaking long gone. And there goes the puppet. I'm guessing the alarm goober. I'm guessing the green rabbit is fully disappeared. So who's attacking for tonight? Okay, so those other mannequins are fully intact since their heads are still screwed onto their necks there. Oh, hey, how you doing there? Yep, I can tell that you have some freaking legs to walk around with? Oh, there you are. So let me just look around all over the place to see if there's anyone else that need to fend off here. Aside from you, that is the only current threat that's moving around here. Okay. Oh. No, you don't. Okay, so I can ward him off with the alarm system. See, so yeah, where did you go off to this time? Oh, there you are. So I'm guessing I need to see where your current path is and maybe deal with you with that specific mechanic just like with one of those other three main mascots or other two in this case since oh gosh you are the same freaking green rabbit that was crawling around all over the place oh no you don't I'm trying to creak open that door just so that you can skip on into the office all right so where are you going after this time Okay. Really? Wait a minute. Are you... Wait, where'd you go? I honestly have no idea. Are you going on the same... Wait, path like always? Wait, so it's already 3 in. Oh, yep, there you are. So, whenever you get into the office, I gotta... Go like this? No. You can go away. No, you don't. That was my first death of the entire week, so yeah. <laughs> Pressing to go back to the main menu and oh yeah, just like that, I got myself the very first star run of the main menu for finishing up all five of the main nights. It's kind of funny that the security office is the only room to be trashed up like this and everywhere else is spotless, so yeah, you're trying to be very discreet with knocking out both of your other friends. Oh. Well, that's not good, so I guess that means you're going to be standing in the middle of the doorway. Okay. Yeah, there you go. See, that's really cool how the Green Rabbit has all three of those mechanics just combined into one entire thread here. So, yeah. Uh, where in the world are you going after this time? It's funny how no one actually does show up in this back hallway over here. As far as I can... Actually, see, wait, what? Oh my! Uh. Okay then. Well, thanks for that sudden jump scare. Oh, yep, yeah, there you are. Right on time as soon as I switched up to that camera. And there you go again. Oh, that's a cool camera perspective of you just standing there in that room. <laughs> no, you don't. I'm just gonna freaking. Wow, okay. <laughs> so head out of here before the fire I am. I only know.
Uh, wait, why are you there? It's the same cardboard cut out from that hallway. Wait, what? Uh, so why are they standing there? Yeah, whatever. Well, at least I, uh, escaped with my life, or maybe that cardboard cut out freaking helped me out with getting out of there. Hey, you know what? I'm just gonna let this credit segment just play out from here. As you're just staring at me for, I guess, the rest of my freaking. Yeah, I'm suffering here at this location, huh? Okay, yep, there goes all the music. Uh, and I guess that was all pretty much it for the main game of the Deep Downs. Now, before that I go on over to the outro, I want to go ahead and take a look at the extras. So here we have all the characters. We have, oh, your name is WTF. Okay, but I'm just going to keep calling you a Green Rabbit Goober from here on out. So and your name is Michelle or Michael. And the Jester. Oh, and you're just simply called Demon, huh? And so here we have the uh, behind-the-scenes stuff for this game. I guess we're just going to be starting off from the last uh, screenshot or render and then just work our way right up until the very beginning. So here we have him just like standing or, you know, a half torso crawling into the actual office here and then just opening up the doorway just to give us a little bit of a stare down. And so here we have some more behind-the-scenes stuff of... Uh, yeah, uh, WTF uh, still being built from the ground up, and yeah, this suit is just uh, pretty much made on a full-on rack there. And there goes Michelle, or Michael, and yeah, uh, just some more behind-the-scenes stuff for that same, uh, yeah, mascot right there. And yeah, uh, that was pretty much all it for the Deep Downs, a WAF revival. So I want to take a look at all the jump scares that there are for this game since uh, I had to pretty much start up a brand new game and then work my way through more of the nights themselves just so that I can have all three of those same mascots just roaming around the place. So uh, starting off with the demon, uh, so when are you going to be showing up this time? Uh, I know you're going to be, you know, opening up that door any second now. Got to be on the lookout for a bipedal green rabbit animatronic yeah come in here and jump scare me if you want to wait a second so i'm on night one and michelle or michael yeah they're moving right now along with the jester wait what's going on here so i guess i can get all of their jump scares hey you know what i'm gonna go ahead and let you inside of the office all right how does that sound and of course you're gone Oh, shoot. Oh, what? Okay, so that's what happens whenever you don't use the alarm and then back off Michael all the way back to the frickin' show stage. Hey, what's up, Jester? And there goes his jump scare. Hey, what's up, Green Rabbit? And there goes his jump scare. So I'm on the night one demo, as y'all can see, the uh, overlay is a bit different. So yeah, if I go ahead and turn off the light, then this time a phantom version of the green rabbit slowly pops up over time. So yeah, uh, do you want to freaking jump scare me? Or just sit right there in my main office just staring at me for eternity? So this is what happens whenever you do turn off the light for a prolonged amount of time in the night one demo. And, yep, there goes Phantom Green Rabbit just slowly disappearing whenever you just have the light back on. So, yeah, I'm just going to wait until you slowly just get on out of here. All right, I'll go on to the camera system. Oh, so you can still see him just slowly disappear whenever you're on the camera system itself. So, yeah, uh, I'll go ahead and move on over to the outro now. So, that was pretty much all it for the short FNAF fan game called The Deep Downs, a WAF 
Revival. Yeah, not a bad FNAF fan game at all. Everyone had their nice and simplistic mechanics. Michelle had, uh, you know, that really cool mechanic of them just going into that one room and then you just had to scare them off with that alarm, uh, you know, periodically whenever they just go back to that one spot every single time. Uh, yeah, uh, you would have known that they would learn their freaking lesson or maybe just change up their tactics every single time that they've been fooled, but yeah, uh, FNAF logic, they just freaking fall for the same trap every single time. And then the Jester, you just had to simply hold your breath and they just go away. And then, yeah, for the Green Rabbit Goober, just had to turn off the light for a couple of seconds, uh, right as they freaking crawl right outside and then just, yeah, shut the door on the way out. So, yeah, at least, uh, he is a very polite murderous torso animatronic so yeah add that to the list of other torso animatronics that i've seen in my lifetime along with uh yeah the final night being a really cool uh you know twist of the green rabbit just being this demon character in a way i mean they were called uh simply the demon in the extras and so they had all three mechanics where you uh, pretty much had to well in my case i just saw where the green demon bunny went off to in one of those other routes if they went to that darker uh you know dining area then i just had to pretty much hold my breath since that's the way the jester went off to and then yeah whenever they went off to the left hand side of the building then you could just turn on the alarm and if that doesn't work then yeah the only other mechanic that is boiled down is uh yeah uh, turning off the freaking lights and then just wait for them to freaking go back over to the overall main dining hall area where the show stage is and so yeah and yeah just do that same thing for the rest of night six and so uh yeah the cardboard cutout that we've seen all week long in that one back hallway right behind the office that uh, helped us out that uh, i think uh, maybe after all the torment has been over and dealt with uh, yeah that cardboard cutout has a uh, gain sentience uh, maybe uh they gained sentience long uh ago i have no idea what the overall lore of yeah this uh fnaf fan game is and so yeah they just decided to help us out and uh, get us away from this restaurant as far as we possibly uh can so i guess uh this cardboard cutout is uh, a good one i still have my disdain against cardboard cutouts but yeah the one that pretty much showed up right in front of my face in the office yeah uh you get a pass okay buddy uh no freaking backstabs okay don't want to see that cardboard cutout knife just jabbed right into my spine. I think the creepiest mascot by far, I mean, all of these guys were really creepy in their own ways, has to go to the Jester. Since, yeah, the Jester just looks like a menacing uh, threat overall, though. I mean, you just don't have to freaking breathe a couple of times with them. That's how you properly deal with them. But overall, though, yeah, I really did like these uh, designs of these uh, three mascot goobers. And so, yeah, after this whole very quick week has been... Uh, finished off I could finally move on over to another location where I honestly have no idea what the uh, antics of that next location are at I just had to do a little bit of sightseeing every single time and then ultimately uh, gave myself another quick paycheck so yep uh, those are my overall final thoughts on the deep downs a waf revival and yeah this was a uh, really neat short fnaf fan game so if anyone has enjoyed this one-off video as i played through all of the deep downs then y'all know what to do down there since all of your amazing like comment and definitely subscribe if y'all haven't already and hit that bell to be notified of all of my future content and streams because i do sometimes stream my channel and that's about it so i'll see you all in the next video or stream thank you guys so much for watching this and yeah see y'all